Yom Kippur is really about the most personal individual relationship that each of us has with Hashem and in putting that back on track. And what really summarizes this for us is the following idea. You know, we've been in the synagogue the whole day, begging Hashem for forgiveness, crying out to Him, dressed in white like, like angels. We know that Hashem really cleans our slates. It's like a new life. And we're starting all over again. We haven't eaten. We've really been like angels. And before we leave the synagogue, before we go home to eat, when Yom Kippur is concluded and we sound the, the shofar one final time, we pray the regular evening service. And in the regular evening service, we have the regular Amida, the regular Shema Nasre prayer service for a regular evening. And we say in that prayer service, we say, Salach lanu avinu ki chatanu, michal lanu malkenu ki fashanu. We say, please forgive us, our Father, our King, for we have sinned. And the question is, what are we talking about here? What sin are we referring to? We just finished accounting for, reckoning for, and cleansing all of the sins of the previous year. We haven't had a chance to do anything. We haven't, we haven't left this spot where we've been totally clinging to Hashem in the most rarefied state. So what is the sin that we're referring to? One of the great sages teaches us, you know what sin it is that we are alluding to when we say, please forgive us Hashem for we have sinned? The fact that each one of us, somewhere in the back of our minds, we might be thinking, Hashem didn't really forgive me. This isn't about me. He forgave everybody else, but I'm so bad, He can't possibly forgive me. And that's how we begin our year. That's the first sin of the year. In minimizing how much Hashem cares about each one of us and in thinking in some place, in some dark recess, and being afraid that maybe He forgave everybody else but not me. We have to understand that after we have done our very, very best in true resolve and with true integrity to become someone that we want to be and that we know that we can be, and to really rise above our limitations and to start again, we have to realize that this is for real, that Hashem really does forgive us and that we have an entirely new beginning. And that gate is open to us on Yom Kippur. And we have to have the resolve and the fortitude and the confidence in our relationship with Hashem to walk through that gate. And that's really what it's all about. So our prayer and our blessing is that we will really have that fortitude to realize that Hashem really is waiting for us and beckoning us to walk through and to start all over again and this time really never to forget, never to succumb to the temporary insanity but to realize that Hashem is always with us at every moment and for our lives to become really a vessel to hold the light of the Divine Presence, the light to Israel and the light to the nations.